Hello everybody, Rodokun here, welcome back to another video on Dragon Ball C Dokkan Battle. I uh, had to be a little bit quiet, it's uh, 6.30 a.m. in the morning, and the GF is sleeping and everything, so let's get down to business. We we had the previews ready and available for you, um, so before you make sure to watch this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're on the road to 500 subscribers, so if you guys are new and want to support the channel in any way whatsoever, please click that red subscribe button if you guys are new. So uh, let's go ahead and check these uh, these animations out. I haven't seen anything. I haven't watched anything. They have their details available so we can be able to see that. So let's go ahead and, and actually watch these beautiful animations. <laughs> Oh, this girl goes on the details, okay. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna be like, <laughs> what? Omae ga shimono no zuri de ore o tao shita tokoro de. Ore wa nando demo yomigaeru de ka. Sara ni kiyoku na te na. つまりお前は永遠に俺を倒せない。お前の生命エネルギーをすべてもらう。いいぞ。もっと<笑><笑> The hell? Oh my god! <laughs> There's so many things in there! That was so much information in the past two minutes. Oh my god! Yo, that was sick! It was one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, what an animation! Holy! Alright, now we have the Goku and Vegeta one, and they also have a banner unit, which is the Gohan and Krillin. やっぱやるしかねえかな。くそ。やばいです。動けるか。藤田。あそこよ、かけるな。ああ。そうだね。いや。見とわかっていても。何が何年時だ。
道だとあるものかWhile everything was going down, everything was happening, dude. I had, I was just whispering to myself, I have, I have to pull these units, man. What an insane, yo, those look insane. What a wonderful animation, dude. Oh my god, those look insane. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and talk about our boy for the first and foremost. Let's go ahead and talk about our boy, Metal Cooler. They have the same name, which doesn't surprise me. Um, uh, I, I, I kind of wanted them to have a different name, just so the AGL Metal Cooler could have a little bit of a long standing in there. They could link together and everything like that, but it seems that it's not going to happen. Um, let's go ahead and talk about their details real quick. As expected, uh, I did talk about this. Um, Wicked Bloodline Category Key Plus 3, all stats 200%. Uh, those are going to be the leader scale for this LR Carnival Metal Cooler. Pretty good, not bad. Uh, this, obviously, Wicked Bloodline did need the help in providing a 200% leader scale for them. It's going to be absolutely nuts. So, <laughs> LR Cooler. The LR Final Form Cooler is going to have his, uh, his moment in the sun where he gets that 200% leader skill, man. It's going to be insane. And then we got his passive skill, Terror of the Revived Cooler. Recovers 10% HP at the start of turn, and if HP is 50% or less, he recovers an additional 10% HP. Okay. Yeah, wow. That is not bad. That is not bad. That is a. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, you 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 get the 70% HP just by this passive alone. That's that's nice, especially on a, on hardcore events like the Red Sun. Like, best definitely need that. You can keep close to an attack and defense plus 130% at the start of turn. Plus an additional defense boost by up to 100% the more HP remaining the greater the defense boost. I, I, didn't, I, I don't know if I like that part. It's a little bit HP dependent but okay. Oh, we'll keep moving. Plus an additional key plus one up to key plus four. And attack and defense plus 15% up to a 60% with each attack received. Okay, so he he gets attack and defense at least on on just by doing that. That's not bad at all. Um, he also recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn in which an attack was received. And recovers an additional 5% HP when there's another ally whose name includes Metal Cooler. Attacking in the same turn. I would suggest these guys are planning for us to bring the other metal coolers, like the free to play ones, to rock alongside this other metal cooler. But apparently, he needs it for him to be able to get that H uh, additional HP plus 5%. <laughs> he has a 70% chance of nullifying unarmed super attacks directed at the character. He's able to revive with HP fully recovered when the character is KO'd once only. Wow, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that full HP regeneration. I dig it. Why is this up? <laughs> and we also got Life Force Absorption. That's an active skill. Can be activated at the start from the fifth turn from the start of the battle if the character receives an attack seven or more times in battle or the revival skill is activated. It was a greatly raises attack temporarily causes ultimate damage to enemy and recovers 30% HP. So this man is just a full outright healer. I like I like the HP recovery. That is pretty good. Oh, as I'm speaking right now on Dokkan, I believe they, they did this at 4 a.m. They released the uh, the EC areas for the um, the free to play units. Nice, look at that. Uh, we'll we'll get to do that possibly on tonight's stream. Um, next super attack, full metal avalanche. This is 12 key, raises attack and defense, also is medical, awesome damage to enemy, and greatly what lowers the attack and defense? No, greatly lowers attack. 
Then there's the Supernova, is a Dinky, massively raises attack and raises defense for one turn, so he stacks attack. Massively. That's 100%. Raises defense for one turn, causes magical loss of damage to enemy, and massively lowers defense. Oh, I wish that would have been the attack. That's fine. He's not bad. He is a continuous healer, though. I like it. I like it a lot. But you obviously have to have other metal coolers on the team. I mean, you can rock the HEL metal cooler in here. Obviously, they won't link at all. But, um, because it's the same name and everything. But, yeah. Big Bad Boss has Strongest Slam in Space, Thirst for Conquest, Auto Regeneration, Nightmare, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. <sighs> I, I really... <sighs> Man, the only thing that I don't like is that they had the same name. Why did they give him the same name? <sighs> that is... <sighs> okay, moving on. We got the Goku and Vegeta, and also... Oh, I forgot to pop in the, uh, the information for Krillin and... Uh... Krillin and... and go on so we can we can check the, that information out so uh, we'll have it right here ready for you guys so this is full power final showdown super saiyan goku and super saiyan vegeta they had the same name pretty good uh as the three year anniversary of ours uh the botata version so th they have a transformation it seems like join forces or movie heroes category g plus three all sets 170 percent Plus an additional HP attack in defense was 30% for characters who also belong in the pure Saiyans category. That's impactful. That's that's very good. Join forces as a category was not was not that insane. It wasn't that crazy. So providing that 170% lead for join forces. They gave us a little bit of an ability for them to use joint forces in a way that they can actually provide another buff or another uh, another 200% lead, basically for pure Saiyans. So that's very good. Uh, who has so the Goku and Vegeta from that diffuses into Gogeta? They have a 200% lead. The gods, <laughs> the Super Saiyan fours, they have a 200% lead. Basically, that's that's very good. That's very good. I like it. Their passive skill: extraordinary fighters. They get keep plus three and attack and defense plus 150 percent to start a turn. Okay. By the way, they're AGL. Uh, cooler's physical. These guys are AGL. Um, reduces damage received by 20 percent. Just just flat out a damage reduction of 20 percent. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Plus an additional key plus one per type keys you obtain. Launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack. Like, I like it. I like it a lot. Plus an additional damage reduction of 20% for three turns from the start of turn. Okay, so 40% at the start of turn and then after third, four. However, and for three turns from the start of the turn, yeah, for after turn four is 20%. Plus an additional defense, attack and defense plus 50%, a medium chance of performing a critical hit when performing an ultra super attack. Okay. That, that is gonna be very impactful going into va various scenarios like red zone, uh, difficult events like that. That, uh, that attack and defense is gonna be very necessary. Receives a morale boost when conditions are met. Is that the new type of transformation that they have? Let's go with the super attacks. Cooperation, cooperation, sorry, between rivals. Receives that, raises that attack for one turn and causes colossal damage to enemy. Okay, just for one turn. That's all you're gonna give me? Okay. Um, and then we got full power crush. Why didn't they, yeah, okay, sure. Full power crush. Raises attack and defense for one turn, causes magical loss of damage to enemy, and greatly lowers attack and defense. Wow, this is good. That, that is a good effect. I like that one. Receives a morale boost upon entering next attacking turn. After the character performs three or more super attacks and receives an attack seven or more times. 
So these guys need to get hit seven more times, and then these guys need to perform three additional, like three super attacks, for them to be able to get that active. I wouldn't say that that's too bad, so I'll take it. <coughs> so then we also have this page where they receive the morale boost and everything like that. Uh, this this is a transformation, so not a not a. Not like a sort of mechanic where they are an exchange unit, basically. Like the uh, the Krillin and Gohan, the other Krillin and Gohan. They're not like that, so. We'll get to see anything changes. Their passive changes. Are their super attack changes as well? I don't know. Rouse fighters. Keep plus two. And eight attack and defense plus 150%. At the start of turn, okay. They're able to reduce damage received by 30%. Plus an additional key plus two per type keys we obtain. That is gonna make it easier for these guys to ultra super. Um, they launch an additional launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack. Seventy percent chance. Great. <laughs> That's pretty good. Plus an additional attack and defense plus fifty percent and medium chance of performing a critical hit when performing a super attack, an ultra super attack. So Thirty percent chance to perform a crit. It's still, a, it's still a chance. Performs a critical hit when activating the active skill or when key is 24. So that's a guaranteed crit. Oh, how would I build these guys? Additionals? Yeah, like full additionals. These guys get guaranteed crit on, on their morale transformation. Or their morale boost. That's pretty good. That's going to be very nice. This additional so I, I, I guess I would say build full additionals maybe. Unless you want to have that, that little bit of a chance of critting a little bit higher up than anything else. So they have the active skill. Power to make the impossible possible. I love that. I love that a lot. Can be activated with facing only one enemy, starting from the next attack and turn. Well, okay. So once you get the morale boost, the next turn you can be able to, to use this only facing one enemy. This is ultimate damage and stuns the enemy for one turn. That's a guaranteed stun. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Obviously this could work better in like... Super Battle Road. This doesn't work on red zone stages, unfortunately. Because red zone bosses are not going to let you stun them. If you go very far into the red zone because of this unit, this unit requires you to go very far on it. There's, there's no... Basically, there's not a lot of uh, leeway where you can be able to see this as a productive uh, use. So, maybe Super Battle Road, this could be useful. Or maybe units that can be stunned. Obviously on these boss fights and everything, but Red Zone, I don't think this is going to be pretty good. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, the Saiyan Lineage, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Uh, the Super Attacks, I don't think they, they change. Uh, Ready to and Defense for one turn, causes Colossal Damage to Enemy. Okay, they do. Did they change the mix? Wait, what? No, they're the same. Ready to and Defense for one turn. Yeah. They're the same. Okay. So those are the details. Let's go ahead and go over to Krillin and Gohan. Holy Heroes, key plus three, all stats to 130. Okay. I gotta go fast because I gotta I gotta go. <laughs> Essence of focus attack. You got attack and defense plus 120%. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when facing two or more enemies. Super bad room. Or first stages of the red zone. I don't know. Uh, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. A 30% chance. Plus an additional attack defense for 100% when performing a super attack. Okay. Get going. <laughs> Plus an additional attack defense plus 50% and performs a critical hit within the character's next attacking turn every time the character attacks three times in battle. Okay. So they get a guaranteed crit after the third attack. Okay. Performs a critical hit with seven or more key spheres obtained. <laughs> Very good. 
very good. All allies his chance of performing a critical hit plus 5% per movie hero's category ally attacking in the same turn, up to 15%. Movie heroes join forces in battle of wits. And most likely you're gonna be using this guy on movie heroes. They have the same name as the Awar. Solid support and fighter, shocking speed, cold judgment, Kamehameha, courage, and fierce battle. Super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes a brain damage to enemy, and lowers attack. Yeah, this is a super battle road unit. I would dig it. He does so many attacks, he can get a chance to crit and stuff like that, so he got, he's gonna be pretty good, so. Yeah, I, I'm sorry that I had to cut it short. Let me know what you guys think about these uh these animations man these are surreal these are one of the best animations i've ever seen in a, in a mobile game this is a mobile game first and foremost this looks like an anime it is and it is from an anime it is from a movie that has been animated and look at this look at the beauty of it man it looks so goddamn insane so uh yeah man let me know what you guys think about these units they're possibly gonna be coming down to night if i'm not mistaken it's either tonight or tomorrow night uh they did say that they were gonna be releasing the banners there was a date on it uh when they showed the initial animations um they were gonna be throwing these out on the 14th but it wasn't uh, there was a time frame that we're going to be releasing these guys it was it was like at 11 p.m for me but i don't know I really don't know if that's going to be the time. So we're going to be keeping an eye out for that. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Gohan and Krillin, the Goku and Vegeta. Their animations look so look crazy. They are insane. One of the best animations in the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about these units. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.